Hello everyone and welcome to episode number 61 of my Iron Man progress series. I really do hope you guys will enjoy this one and we're starting this episode out right here where we finish the episode 60, killing some wyverns because we do have a task. Now I finished the first inventory, I kind of forget a few things but the first inventory is basically worth around 150k. I'm quickly going to bank, finish the task and then we're going to see what we're going to do. I'm definitely planning some barrows and some Zora for this episode and you know a little bit of slayer and clues so yeah let's get right into the next clip let's go and right here a pretty unexpected level is happening i didn't really see this one coming so yeah 32 skeleton wyverns left to kill and i'm actually about to finish this trip so yeah, that's pretty awesome Trip number 2 completed for the total price check of around 190k and now I do think I'll do just one more or maybe two more trips and then we'll go grab another task. Task is finished now, I have to tell you guys something, I'm eating the pizza and I have the most wonderful time in my life and beside that this this uh, this trip was basically worth 232k now I'm gonna go ahead and grab another task now I really want to make this clip as short as possible because I'm really hungry so let's take blue dragons alright I'll just kill the little ones I guess or the big ones, I might AFK a little bit, I don't know, I will see, and I'll talk to you probably when I finish the task, let's go! This task really didn't take too long, now I'm quickly going to go ahead and teleport to my Slayer Master, grab another task, and I do have a hard clue scroll in the bank, so we get 8, eight Mithril Dragons, never killed Mithril Drags before, so that's pretty cool, and uh, yeah, as said earlier, there's a hard clue scroll in my bank, which I'm going to complete now, and hopefully we're going to get some good rewards. Alright, here we are with the reward casket, let's get a third age, let's go! <laughs> definitely not a third age, some useful teleports though, definitely like Lunar Isle and mostly Harmless, both really useful teleports. Now I'm going to go and grab myself a task right over here. Oh, never mind, I still have Mithril Dragons, my bad, I'm going to gear up and kill 8 Mithril Dragons. And you know what, maybe we can get a Dragon Full Helm. Just kidding! Alright, I just actually finished the task and we got our first shoot bones drop, so yeah, that's pretty cool, if you don't know you can get a dragon uh, full helm from these, it's basically 1 in 250 drop, now since I, yeah, I'll probably just throw them in the bank and you know, try to get the dragon full helm a little bit later on, but yeah, that was basically the slayer task, 340 in a row completed already, and now I'm quickly going to go ahead and grab another task right here, and we do get anchors, and those are really fast to complete, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Uh, that task went by pretty damn fast and once again I do have a hard clue scroll in the inventory so that is awesome, I'm going to grab another task which is Turoth, I'm definitely cancelling that, that, what the fuck, I can't even speak right now, but anyways, let's get something better, still dragons, alright, that's definitely pretty decent, a chance for a visage right there, uh, but for now we do have that hard clue scroll which I really really want to complete, let's go. Alright, so here we are once again with the reward casket, can we get something good this time around, let's go. Uh, uh, it's, it's decent, not too great though, but uh, hey, can't complain, 130 second clue right there for 62k reward. Now I'm considering whether I should go and do those steel dragons or if I should do a little bit of barrels, but anyways, it is pretty damn late right now, so I'll basically go to sleep and tomorrow I'll decide what I want to do, so yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Alright, I did actually get a dragon plate skirt on this trip and I still have 18 left to kill, which I'll do fairly fast. It is the morning, so this trip was basically 300k. Uh, one more trip and then we grab a new task. So after quite a while, actually, we did complete the steel dragon freaking uh, task. I grabbed another one, I got trolls. I'm making this clip over the previous because I accidentally clicked delete. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and finish the troll task. Sadly, no clues this time around. And I'm gonna talk to you once I do finish the task. No, no, I just got a curved bone. That is one in 5,000, I think. That's really, really rare, my first one. Holy shit. 
Alright, we just finished the task, we did get quite a lot of um, rune stuff basically. So yeah, definitely do the trolls, like you get around 250k almost every single time. Also curved bone in this strip, as well as the long bone, I don't even want to talk about it. But yeah, let's go ahead and grab another task really fast, Phenom Neve. Hopefully we can get like demons or kraken. Turoth, I'm definitely cancelling that, so let's quickly cancel that, like that. And grab something better, please. Four Mithril Dragons, what the fuck even needs that? But yeah, I'm definitely going to go and kill those. I do have one chewed bone in the bank though, but uh, I don't feel like using it just yet. So yeah, let's go ahead and kill four Mithril Dragons. Alright, a very simple task completed right there. I'm quickly going to grab what else is there, a Runite bar, thank you very much. Just like that, and I'm gonna go ahead and grab another task right here from our beautiful friend Steve. Can we get a decent task this time around? 51 skeletal wyverns, alright, that's fairly decent. Gonna grab my ranging gear and I'm gonna AFK a little bit while probably playing some league. So yeah, maybe we can get an elite or some dragon drops or maybe potentially even a visage, but uh, yeah, that's really rare. But yeah, let's go ahead and kill 51 wyverns. Alright, I just finished the task of wyverns, I killed 51 of them if I'm not mistaken, and this is a quick loot from them without bones. So basically 51 wyverns, 700k loot, pretty decent to be fair. I mean, wyverns are really good money, like legit really good money, and like I decided to bury all the bones simply because, well, I kind of um, was playing League of Legends in the meantime, and kind of AFKing, I'm leaving one runex on the ground for the lucky guy, but anyways, I'm going to go grab another task, hopefully something good, now I'm not feeling to be doing Jad right now, but I'll quickly skip it and then I'll grab another task. So um, yeah, I'll go ahead and do that and uh, hopefully we can get some Krakens or Abyssal Demons. Alright, let's go. And we do get... Uh, I, 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 I'm not even gonna bother going there, like, fuck that. Have enough of points to be skipping annoying tasks. So I guess 54 ankles are really fast to kill, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. No clue scrolls this time around, and lizard man, I might actually do a little bit of shamans, I'm not quite sure, I'll see what I'll do, maybe a little bit of shamans, finish it off on a little ones, I'll see, I'll see, but uh, yeah, 117 of those. Alright, lizard man task was nothing too interesting, and yeah, ankles this time around, pretty fast task, I really wanna get some decent boss tasks, so I might as well just hit up Dur Duradel after this one, cause he probably assigns more boss tasks, but anyways, gonna finish those ankles now. Yeah, whatever, I'm too lazy to go to Duradel, so yeah, let's go ahead and grab fucking lizard man one more time, whatever. Just quickly going to kill little ones like the problem with the big ones is i really hate doing it because you constantly get normal people with cannons and they constantly crash you so i don't know i really hate that spot so yeah, I do, i'll just kill the little ones it's a pretty fast task if you do that but yeah gonna talk to you once i do grab the next task right after that now once again i just finished the lizardman task grabbing another one dagonauts so i was actually thinking about doing you know dagonauts um like not king, so I might do that, or the little ones, I'm not sure, but for now, I have to AFK something, as I do need to study again, so I'll most likely go up to the monkfish spot, and just catch a little bit of monkfish, maybe get some clue scrolls, and yeah, basically study in between, so I'm gonna talk to you later. Why, well, this is pretty cringe, but anyways. And there it is, 84 fishing, still fishing, still studying few days later, coming in with a 77 wood cutting, also fairly close to a fishing level, but guess what, I'm still studying, so I'll AFK a little bit more, so yeah. It has been quite a while since we last achieved the level, but here it is, 78 wood cutting, guess what I'm doing, yes, I'm studying math. But yeah, right now I'll continue to wood cut for as long as I'm studying, so I might even go and do a little bit of fishing, I don't know, I'm basically doing all the AFK stuff while I focus on the studies, because I really do think that is important for me to complete perfectly. And when I'm done with that, back to Barrow's grind and all that beautiful stuff. But anyways, in a video that will be just a matter of few seconds, when I will basically be studying for like a week or two. So yeah, let's go to the next clip. So here we are, the new day, the math exam went perfectly, and here is 74 fletching, nothing new with that, but uh, yeah, now I'm going to be studying chemistry, I have two days to learn that, so basically more AFKing to come, and then two days for psychology, again I'll be 
AFKing a lot and after that the normal progress will continue but yeah for you it will just take a couple of seconds once again um, so yeah I'll talk to you on the next clip Alright, so all that fishing and all that wood cutting actually got me a little bit of clues right here. So I do have easy, medium and hard right there. So if we are going to do them in order, I'm going to go ahead and start with the easy one, then make a medium one and finish the hard one. So yeah, let's go ahead and proceed to the easy clue reward. Alright, here we are with the reward of an easy clue. Um, let's hope for flare trousers. Um, <laughs> pretty damn terrible I guess we can alg this for like a little bit of money like 2k so yeah let's go ahead and do a medium right now pretty easy medium clue right there let's see what we get for the rewards hopefully ranger boots okay that looks nice definitely a unique we did get a cat mask at first I was fucking surprised what the hell this is uh, but yeah cat masks for our 30th medium clue and you know some things are just elk. So how does this look? I have no clue. But okay, Jack, what? What is this? Did this looks terrible? Fuck this. But anyways, uh, it's a new a new item to just uh, waste spots in our bank, I guess. But yeah, for the end, let's finish this uh, hard and get something nice from there. Here is the hard reward. Let's get a freaking Robin Hood hat. Let's go. Alright, this looks pretty dope, but it's not that good, like we got elf cam teleports, I guess that's decent. Black mask, I'm not sure whether I already have that, I will check that out in a second. And you know, black dehyde chaps and the kite shield, you know, nothing too special right there. But let's quickly go ahead and go right into the bank and see whether we already have a black mask or not. I am pretty sure that we already do have one or two. Uh, but yeah, let's check it out anyways. So here's my awesome looking loot tab. Yeah, there it is. So we do have uh, two black dragon masks right there. So I do think I will do a little bit of barrels just before I go back to studying because I have kind of a small break right now. But uh, but when I have to study, I'll basically go back to fishing. So uh, expect some barrel chests and after that probably a fishing level. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Back to the barrels grind. Let's see what the first chest holds. Well, that's a decent chest, that's a chest number 201, I'll most likely commentate over every 10th chest or if we get an item. So basically the next time you hear me is either an item or chest number 210 or if I decide to study, probably a fishing level. So let's go ahead and jump to the next clip. Well, that is an item, but not the one we are searching for, but oh well, chest number 203, tooth half of a key. <gasps> oh my god, fuck yes, let's go. Alright, let's quickly check whether we already have that, I mean, I already know that I don't have this yet, but if we quickly check for the Varax... What else do we need? Oh yeah, the plate skirt. But yeah, I will probably be using the helm over the 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 Gotham's helm now. So yeah, that's pretty damn awesome. And um, yeah, very hyped about that. So yeah, let's continue with some barrels. Next chest is chest number 210. There it is, chest number 210. I'm not expecting anything because I got a double chest just before. So, well, that's again an item pretty damn sick so yeah I'll talk to you again in the next 10 chests or if I get an item or if I decide to skill so yeah, let's go ahead and get an item I hope for some reason I didn't get my recorder up but here is my ninth elite and another master so that's pretty awesome like masters are really common in elites we also got some oak plants, planks and thick planks, dragon necklace, nothing too special but I'll go ahead and try to complete this master, it may take a while. Alright, here we are finishing the first step of the master clue scroll, giving this guy a Zora puzzle. And I hope I can do this, Ivan staff, black mystic top, black mystic bottom. I'm not sure but I do think I might have that so I'll quickly check. So luckily I do have black mystic bot and top, I'm not sure how, but I do have that so I can definitely complete the second step of this clone which is awesome. Alright, completed the step 2, let's see if I can do step number 3. Let's go! 
beware of that equip a black dragon hide body black dragon hide vamps and black dragon mask i'm pretty sure i can do that holy shit that's fucking dope i have so many of those items all right so we are going in the king black dragon lair now now that's pretty damn interesting so yeah, let's go ahead and do that 10 out of 10 black dragon slayer right there anyways i'm off to dancing in the king black dra dragon lair so yeah let's go ahead and uh, yeah, hopefully we'll be able to complete the next step as well, and hopefully we don't get PK'd. I'm fairly close to completing this master clue step right here, pretty damn interesting to come in this layer right here. Hopefully I can complete the next step as well, so let's see what do we get. An anagram, I'm pretty confident I can do all the anagrams, so that is pretty awesome, we are already at a step number, let's see number three so this is basically fourth step pretty good let's hopefully try and complete this master clue all right so talking to impling i actually got this shit for the first time and i've heard that you can just randomly click stuff and it will solve itself i have no clue how to solve it so i'll be clicking like that for a couple of times so yeah bye bye well to be fair i had no fucking clue what i did i simply checked for yep i i don't know what i did to be fair so um yeah i'm just gonna handle this back Apparently I completed it, so next step, another anagram, so therefore I might be able to simply complete it. We are four steps in, we may get our second ever Master Clue reward right here, or actually third ever Master Clue reward, I think. Alright, here we are completing the puzzle for Loon, and yeah, no reward just yet. Alright, I am I think I'm able to do that, and this is step five, so step six will be annoying because it is, you know... I need to find the place to dig and kill those those things, but uh, yeah, it will take a while, but I'll go ahead and do that, and then potentially the reward. So here we are about to kill this mage, there we go. Can we get the reward right over here? Um, how about here? How about here? I guess I already updated it. Ah, uh, I... fuck. I'm gonna check this out, hopefully I can make it, why does this take 7 steps, I do not know, and if I will not be able to complete it, I will be hella salty, uh, but yeah, let's go ahead, see if I can complete all of these, and hopefully then complete them. So I can pretty much complete all the steps, one is right here, and the others are fairly easy as well, so one is in birth rope, and one is in Zia, so yeah, that's fairly easy. Uh, as soon as I complete all of them, we are most likely going to get a casket and, uh, you know, hopefully we can get something good. Now, the last two master clues weren't exactly too great, so therefore I'm expecting something in the lucky number 3. So yeah, let's go ahead, get the reward and get something good. And piece number 2. Oh, are you, are you serious? Come back, come back, you. Oh my god, there we go, step 2. And here is step number 3. We quickly combine all of these for a casket, please. No. No, 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 no. I don't want to click that. Seven steps in. I don't want to click that. I'm, I'm closing my eyes. No, no, no. Fuck. All right. I actually really don't want to do this. I don't want to do this at all. All right. Time to check. Dissect this. What? Alright, so basically, dissected, I mean, sacred eels are the fish you can caught in the freaking, um, how to say, in the Zora area. Uh, you need 87 fishing, so I'll just get a plus 3 boost. So this is actually something that went, I mean, that it was very useful, thanks for me studying, I actually have caught a lot of fishing, therefore... I mean, I can now do this step and get the reward, so that's pretty cool. And by the way, to dissect the sacred eel, all you really need is 72 cooking and the knife. So I'm gonna go ahead, try to get myself a boost and complete this step. Let's go. Alright, now, hopefully the fishing potion will last me to catch a freaking... Well, if I fucking know how the fuck to catch it, there we go. Alright, so hopefully, you know, we don't lose the boost and we actually catch that freaking sa fishing rod. Kill me, please. Holy fucking shit. Around number two. Let's go. Oh, there it is. Alright, that was pretty damn fast. And I forgot the knife. Ugh, fuck me. Alright, so now hopefully all I really need to do is write this. 
There we go, got some scales, completed the challenge, therefore as soon as I speak to Sherlock I should be getting the reward casket. And here we are, after all the struggles, I was pretty damn sure after I got the Sherlock clue that I will not be able to complete it, but here it is, the reward casket. Ah oh, man, I really really hope I can get something good from that, so yeah, let's just open it. Um, well, I guess you can decide what that clue reward is, I'm not a true fan of it, but I cannot really complain. So yeah, that was my third master clue scroll, pretty happy that I actually was able to complete it. I do think I will return and do more barrows right now, but that might come in the end, I mean in the next episode. So just like that we complete this episode number 61. I really do hope you guys did enjoy it and if you did make sure to reward me with a simple like. Also if you're new to the channel feel free to subscribe and I would like to thank all of you guys that liked my previous progress video that got over 100 likes which is absolutely insane. I never really expected that so yeah that is always a nice feeling to get such a positive feedback on your videos. But other than that, what I really wanted to say is that this episode was kind of all around. Now I was mainly focusing on school for the past two weeks, so therefore I didn't find a lot of time to do a lot of RuneScape. Now I do have another important test in two days and then another important one in five days. And as soon as I'm done with that, I'll be back to daily uploads. Now I have some new series in mind, which I'm pretty sure you guys will absolutely enjoy. I also didn't get to create a 3000 subscribers kind of celebration video but we are almost at 3200 now so therefore I might even skip the 3k one and just wait until we reach 5k uh, with you know the growth we are currently getting I'm pretty sure we'll reach 5k pretty damn soon so yeah I'm very confident about that and I would really like to thank you guys for showing me the support through some of the rough rough times basically um, but yeah that was basically everything from me I say basically way too much in every single video but basically Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.